hello everyone and welcome back again dear uh, final year students so i hope you are all doing well so in this video we are going to discuss the hydrograph problem of the energy engineering subject okay 18 me 81 is the subject code so this is the 10 marks question will be the fix in the video examination your end semester examination so you have to practice uh, the same variety okay i will discuss here one problem so you will get the concept then we can easily solve varieties of problems on this particular concept okay so mean monthly discharge for 12 months at a particular site of a river is tabulated below okay so this is the hydrograph problem first of all you should know what does the hydrograph mean so see here the definition it is a simpler one hydrograph is defined as graph showing discharge that is runoff of flowing water with respect to time okay so simply it is a graph between time and discharge of the flowing water okay that uh, that is the hydrograph mean over here so this much is the data given month is given discharge is given in terms of millions of meter cube per month and uh, again the months are given discharge is given okay 12 months are given and respective discharges are given now what we have to calculate so draw the hydrograph first of all you have to draw the hydrograph and flow duration curve for the given discharges okay and find the average monthly flow this is the first part second part is calculate the power available at mean flow of water if the available head is 80 meter and overall efficiency is 80 percent okay take 30 days in a month now in order to solve this particular question first of all you have to do the summation of these terms that is discharges 500 plus 200 plus 1500 likewise you will get the summation as 17500 millions of meter cube per year okay so and the average flow in order to uh, calculate the average flow simply you have to take this term divided by 12 so 12 are the months and this much is the discharge you will get the average flow that is 1458.3 millions of meter cube per month okay so from the given monthly flow data the hydrograph is drawn as shown in figure now in order to draw the hydrograph so how you can draw first of all as i earlier told you in the definition part it is the uh, it is the graphical representation between time and discharge so time is here in in terms of month okay so take the month on the x axis or fcs line so and the y axis is here or it is also called as ordinate so this is the discharge i am taking 250 500 750 thousand it is according to your own convenience okay i have taken 250 as a difference between these discharges okay this is your month april this much is the april may june july likewise you have to take the segments okay make sure you will draw this hydrograph uh, on the graph sheet in the examination okay don't uh, draw this particular hydrograph on the simple plan page in the examination so make sure you will draw this hydrograph in the graph sheet over there but i will explain it on uh, this particular sheet only over here as there is a non-availability of graph sheet with me i don't have graph sheet over here so that is why i am explaining it over here okay so this is your month this is your discharge now what is the april uh, discharge that is your 500 in the month of april discharge is 500 so april is here 500 is here so draw the line like this one okay this is your 500 in the month of april okay this much is the discharge now for may it is 200 so in order to start from may so you have to draw a vertical line up to this one so 200 will be somewhere here 250 below will be the 200 so take the line a uh, straight horizontal line for the may month okay this is your 200 is discharge okay now june for june it is 1500 right so 1500 is somewhere here okay so draw the line vertical like this one then start for this particular month that is june draw a straight line okay this is your 1500 for june now for july it is 2500 okay i hope you are getting my point 2500 so draw a vertical line up to 2500 then draw a horizontal line this much covers your july month okay then uh, august is 3000 okay so for august is here so i will just draw a vertical line up to 3000 then draw a horizontal line okay this much covers your august okay so likewise you have to draw the graph i hope you are getting my points and you can calculate the rest of sorry you can draw the rest of the hydrograph whatever i have mentioned how to take these segments over here so this much will be your hydrograph for this particular problem okay i hope you can draw rest of the graph and your average flow is as you see here 1458.3 so 1400 will be somewhere here draw a dotted line this indicates your average flow that is your 1458.3 millions of meter cube per month okay and this is called your 
hydrograph okay i hope this is clear now in order to draw the flow duration curve you have to take some data again so this is your discharge in millions of meter cube per month okay so whatever the numbers are repeated see here 1500 1500 1500 is repeated so you have to take this 1500 only one time okay so take from the minimum itself 200 is minimum take first this one 200 then 500 is minimum 500 then again in the ascending order you have to take 600 800 okay so ascending order you have to take 200 500 600 800 then 1000 1500 is three times so take it only one time then 2000 2400 2500 3000 okay i hope this much is clear now length of time why i am calculating this data in order to draw the flow duration curve later on i will show you how to draw the flow duration curve now 200 length of time is 12 now you will you will uh, tell me how it is 12 see here 200 is minimum in this particular case okay discharge is 200 is minimum you can see here itself 200 is itself in the 200 okay and it is also in 500 it is also in 1500 2500 uh, and 3000 also 2400 in all the terms this 200 is there okay 200 exists is uh, existed in all the months over there so i can take uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so 12 is the length for this one okay now 500 so it uh, 500 is itself in the 500 but it cannot be in the 200 and rest of the terms it will be there 1500 also 2500 3000 2400 okay in 600 so uh, except 200 500 will be there in all the discharges okay so how much is the value 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay so that is why i have taken it 11 over here okay now for the 600 so definitely 600 uh, is itself in the 600 okay and also in the 800 but it cannot be in the 200 and 500 and rest of the terms it will be so uh, how many values i have to subtract these two without these two so i have to calculate 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so this is what 10 is the length okay so i believe that you are the uh, final year students so you can now calculate i have told you how to calculate this uh, length of the time okay similarly it will be 9874321 okay if you are finding some difficulties also in calculating this much so do let me know in the comment section actually i don't want to make this video too long if i just uh, what we call explain each and everything so the video will be too long and you will be bored and uh, you cannot uh, what we call watch the video over there okay so that will be headache so now percentage of time the formula is b by 12 into 100 so b is the length of time okay divided by 12 into 100 now what is the b value 12 so 12 divided by 12 multiplied by 100 12 12 cancels you will get 100 as percentage now 11 is the b value so 11 by 12 into 100 you will get 91.7 91.7 so 10 divided by 12 into 100 you will get 83.33 okay likewise then 9 divided by 12 into 100 you will get 75 8 divided by 12 into 100 you will get 66.7 so all the values i hope you can calculate okay now there is the uh, there is the turn for flow duration curve how to draw this okay so flow duration again it is the uh, what we call graphical representation between the percentage of time and the discharge so we have calculated the percentage over here okay see here what is the minimum value uh, 8.3 so i will just take the segments from 10 so this is your 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 and up to 100 we have the percentage over here and discharge as usual 250 500 750 take the segments like this one okay discharge is same as it is now we have to calculate at percentages different percentages see here this is your uh, 200 is discharge at 100 percentage of time so 100 is where here and here is your 200 see here 200 is here and 100 percentage is here just mark the point like this one okay now 91.7 is the percentage 91.7 and what is the discharge value 500 so at 500 91 point somewhere here is the 91 91.7 so mark the point as it is according to the according to the points over here okay so now 600 uh, the percentage is 83.33 so 600 is here somewhere and you have to take the percentages at 83 so 83 will be somewhere here okay this is your discharge okay now your 800 for 875 is the percentage 
so 800 is somewhere here and 75 is somewhere here okay draw the points so likewise you have to take down these points first okay then draw the free curve like this one join these points whatever you have marked on the graph sheet so you will get the this is called as flow duration curve this uh, mean flow rate will be remain as it is 1458.3 so draw a uh, simply dotted line okay or dash line this is your average flow that is 1458.3 million meter cube per month this is called as flow duration curve whatever you have drawn okay i hope you can draw this uh, easily this curve easily over there okay so now there is the second part so first part is over draw the hydrograph and flow duration curve we have drawn it uh, and find the average monthly flow also we have calculated this in the beginning step itself that is 1458.3 now calculate the power available uh, rest of the things are given head is given 80 meter or our efficiency is given 80 percent and uh, take 30 days in a month okay uh, so we have to take 30 days in a particular month over there so there is a formula for power that is mg h uh, nita nita is the efficiency it is given 80 percent the problem overall efficiency head is h h is given 80 percent okay g is the gravity acceleration due to gravity that is uh, your 9.81 okay so mass is usually you have to take 1000 kg per meter cube okay this is generally you have to take now you know already uh, power available at mean flow we have to take so p is equal to the mean flow is given in the question that is 1458.3 million uh, meter cube per month okay so 1458.3 multiplied by 10 raised power 6 as it is in the millions of meter cube so multiplied by 10 raised power 6 meter cube per month multiplied by 1000 kg per meter cube that is your mass multiplied by g g is uh, your acceleration due to gravity that is 9.81 multiplied by 80 meter that is your head it is given in the problem okay so head is 80 meter and overall efficiency is uh, 80 percent that is your 0 0.8 divided by you have to take uh, days uh, sorry 30 days in a month means 30 days multiplied by 24 hours are there uh, in a particular day and uh, 3600 seconds are there in the particular uh, 24 hours okay so when you just divide this much you will get uh, 353.2 into 10 raised power 6 watts in order to take in megawatts you can take simply 353.2 megawatts over there okay so this much is the uh, answer for this particular question i hope this is clear to you people so if you have some doubts you can ask in the comment section and i wish you all the best for your examination uh, my dear friends so don't leave this problem as it is a very simpler one and you should try also uh, three to four problems on this particular con concept thank you